Good Sunday evening, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. It has been a rather active day across the Mid-South where it comes to the weather, but things are fortunately calming down by just a little bit. We are looking for less in the way of severe weather. We'll take a look at that forecast from the Storm Prediction Center coming up here in just a little bit. We'll also take a look and see what's going on as we approach the end of the year. Your New Year's Eve and New Year's Day holiday forecast coming up here in just a little bit, so stay tuned again for more on that. Rest of the forecast, again, will be rather on the chilly side as we go toward the middle of January. We'll talk more about what we're expecting there coming up in just a little bit. Welcoming everybody on the News Channel 3 Facebook page, and if assuming everything is working here, and it looks like it is, welcome to my Facebook page as well. Got any questions about the forecast? We'll do our best to answer those coming up here in just a little bit. And of course, again, drop your location and whatever weather reports you've got out there and to the comments section. We'll read those off. Can't stick around for the rest of the forecast. That's cool. All you have to do is go to wreg.com slash weather or check out the forecast information scrolling by down here in the blue bar beneath the screen. Continuing a very rainy end to the year, if everything works, we may have seen a record-breaking year for rainfall. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit, but if you got some rainfall in the rain gauges, let's see what you got. Uh, post those into the comments section where you have the opportunity to do so. For those of you who have not tuned in here before, welcome to the show. Your opportunity to ask questions, get information about what's going on in the Mid-South, and again, we cover North Mississippi, West Tennessee, and Eastern Arkansas. Again, that's with Memphis, Tennessee right there in the middle of it for right now. Again, for the rest of the evening, should be pretty quiet across much of the Mid-South. Again, keeping up to date with the weather. Download our weather app so you can stay up to date on the forecast and all kinds of other stuff, including our latest weather cast from the news that we had just a little while ago. And again, for the rest of the evening, should be decently quiet. We'll tackle the rest of that coming up on weather overtime. Rest of the area tonight is going to be a little bit more brisk into tomorrow morning as drier, colder air makes its way into the Mid-South. So might see some showers linger across portions of the area as we go into late tonight early portions of Monday morning, but then that clear air comes on through. Actually had some decent sunset shots tonight, but just some very tiny, brief bursts of sunset out there, thanks to some cracks in the clouds into and around the area for right now. Dana Armstrong Russo, hope I'm saying that right. Where is the snow? It's not here, that's for certain. you got to go back toward about my hometown of Topeka, Kansas, if you want to see uh, more of that. Anything north of I-70 is picking up some pretty good snowfall. I-70 actually closed in some locations into and around the area, and also some more snowfall leading to some travel delays in very slick conditions north of us, but this is about as cold as it gets for the next couple of days. Like the chilly temperatures, stay tuned because we've got a lot to talk about coming up in the seven-day forecast. So by tomorrow morning, heading out the door for work or whatever you've got going on, low temperatures overnight will be dropping into the mid to upper 30s. And by tomorrow, clearing skies, plenty of sunshine out there looking very nice. High temperatures just below normal for this time of the year, back into the mid to upper 40s into and around the area, and that's going to be about it. This is going to be interesting to see how we wind up with rainfall. The last several months from about April and May all the way into November and early December, we were already pushing a lot of rainfall across much of the Mid-South area. And as of right now, with what we got today, just about an inch and a quarter, we are now up to almost 73 and a half inches of rainfall. That is 20 inches above normal for this time of the year. Now, depending on how much we got again for the entire day, if these totals stack up, we are already in fourth place for the rainiest year ever recorded in the Memphis location, according to the National Weather Service. And again, this area started keeping records back in the 1870s. So that's a very long period of time to take a look at these things. If we got a little bit more than this officially, we might be the third wettest. It's kind of hard to say right now. We'll wait for the National Weather Service to tell us exactly what we're looking for there. Nearly 70 degrees today. Average temperature, what we should be at, is about 50 degrees and a low temperature of 54, which again, that's about 20 degrees above our normal low temperature for this time of the year, within four degrees of a record high temperature today, and that hasn't been broken since 1889. So very warm conditions out across the Mid-South. Clear enough to see a nice wax, uh, waxing crescent moon 
Back across the southwestern horizon tonight, Venus has already set, but at least we're picking up some clearing skies across much of the Mid-South area. Good news again for travelers into and around the Mid-South and points beyond. Uh, anybody heading home from the holidays to Memphis tonight shouldn't be seeing that much of a problem. Clear skies being reported. Green airplane icon denotes delays of 15 minutes or less, so not a problem here. We were seeing some delays around Denver and Dallas earlier today and into the weekend. But as of right now, things looking pretty good. San Francisco, probably some problems with wind and some rain and fog out on the coast. But beyond that, the major airports are not showing any major concerns out there with anything in the way of a lot of problems. So definitely some good news uh, on that for right now. So we see, again, the potential for uh, good travel conditions out there for tonight. Will it last into tomorrow? Well, Todd Demersel has his, have his forecast coming up bright and early tomorrow morning. Now, back to the coast. Again, a lot of rain and snow in the higher elevations. Gusty winds coming in from out of the northwest with a new storm system digging on through the west coast states, south of Oregon, down toward areas of California. Our storm system making its way through the midsection of the country, picking up this moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. That's the fuel for the storms. Asking about the snow and the ice and the freezing rain and the sleet and all that fun stuff. Back to the north of I-70 for the most part into the Midwest. Anything to the, say, west of Madison, Wisconsin, and Chicago, picking up some slick, cold, breezy conditions out that direction. So that's where you're going to be seeing the major problems out there. And as an added bonus, into around the New England area, where there could be a couple of inches of ice, depending on how things go here. Mostly snow, sleet, and freezing rain could be a problem west of Boston, all the way back into areas south of Ottawa and Canada. So some travel slowdowns could be possible in those locations. Here in the Mid-South, the threat is basically over with for both rain and thunderstorms. The thunderstorms well over to our west into Alabama and south-central middle areas of Tennessee. Most of the rest of the Mid-South has cleared the rainfall for tonight. And that should just about do it uh, for the chances of rain into and around the area for this evening. Now, if you're heading south and or east to the, uh, say, west of Chattanooga and down to about Birmingham and to about Montgomery, Huntsville picking up some pretty good thunderstorms. And some of these have been tornadic in the last couple of hours, but not the case at this time. The tornado watch that was in effect for northeast Mississippi, that has since been canceled. But you can see, again, a few counties left over from around Demopolis all the way back up to about Huntsville, still under that tornado watch until about 9 o'clock tonight in areas of northern and west central Alabama. So if you're heading south and east in the next couple of hours, looks like you may be seeing again some possible travel troubles uh, into that location for right now. Uh, Ed Sacker, S-A-K-R, hope I'm saying that relatively close to correctly. Uh, anything about late January? Actually, yes. Uh, we do have links posted at WREG.com for information regarding the Climate Prediction Center. If you'd like to see the long-term forecasts uh, into the rest of the month, it's looking very warm for the start of January. The possibility of much colder conditions into mid-January and then clearing things out as we go into and around the area, possibly much colder depending on how things go. But again, that's available at WREG.com slash weather uh, if you'd like to see more about the extended forecast going on there. Rainfall across the area on live real-time WeatherNet 3 showing the greatest amount around Windyke Country Club. Southeast Memphis picking up an inch and a half of rainfall, over an inch in many locations. Not quite flash flooding material, but definitely enough to soak things down out there. So again, wet roadways tonight. Please use caution on the way home just to slow it down a little bit out there just to be, make sure everybody gets home safely. Rest of the evening, drier air starts sweeping its way in from the north and west, and that'll have an impact on our temperatures too. By the time Todd Demers is on the air with daybreak tomorrow, we'll be looking at temperatures back into the upper 30s to lower 40s. Winds will be breezy, so we will have a wind chill into tomorrow, so definitely want to make sure that you are bundled up for that. 
Clear skies, so hopefully some sunshine tomorrow uh, throughout the entire day. Although Dyersburg to Jackson, down to about Corinth and Tupelo, some lingering clouds could be sticking around in that location. Maximum temperatures past about lunchtime tomorrow will only make their way into the upper 40s to lower 50s, so way below where we were for today and throughout much of the rest of the weekend with near record highs in the Mid-South area. Now going into the rest of the forecasts, it's going to be a bit on the cool side out there, especially especially as we head into and around the area of next week. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. Severe weather threat for tonight, again, in that area we just talked about. For this evening, the Storm Prediction Center, which is the government agency with NOAA that issues these forecasts that we bring to you on the graphics here, showing that slim possibility of a slight risk, the highest risk of severe weather from, say, around Franklin, south of Nashville through Huntsville and down into around southeastern Mississippi. That'll be the best possibility of severe weather for tonight, close to the area, and then moving out of the picture entirely as we go into overnight. So the threat of severe weather almost done and pushing away from the Mid-South. Just going to take a couple more hours to get all this out of the picture. So looking a lot quieter into and around the rest of the area. Hopefully, again, some clear skies for tonight, maybe some good stargazing going on, but could be a little soggy out there as those showers finally leave the area. Tomorrow, chilly, dry, a little breezy at times as those winds come in from out of the west and northwest, but mostly sunny skies starting off with a few more clouds in the morning and then going for some dry conditions out there. Mid to upper 40s for most of New Year's Day and New, Year, New Year's Eve day and then New Year's Day in the morning. Temperatures pretty chilly back in the lower 30s, lower 50s for highs, pretty close to normal as we go into the brand new year and finishing out the next, uh, the last decade and heading into the next one. Numbers, again, showing the potential of some more rainfall as we go toward Wednesday night, late Thursday and into Friday. Just rainfall, not powerful enough for anything in the way of thunderstorms into the area, so that's good news, but there will be more showers out there and too warm for anything but rainfall, so just liquid rainfall across much of the rest of the area. So that's about all we're going to be seeing there. Now, watching the area past next weekend, this is where things really start to get interesting. Again, we get a lot of computer models that we take a look at when it comes to these numbers here. And part of our job is to look at all that information, boil it down, and say this looks more likely than that, and that looks more likely than this. For right now, again, the farther off you go into the future, the more fuzzy things are because, again, they're just not close enough. More in detail, you get closer up to things. You can see a lot easier as to what's going to be going on with the forecast. Anything all the way out on this side is going to stand a pretty good chance of changing up or down as we go throughout the next few days. So these numbers here by mid-January will be changing as we get closer to that into the new year. So imperative you stay tuned in the next few days because we may be seeing the coldest air of the season coming up as we go past next weekend. Now again, not too bad on the temperatures overall, dropping a bit by next Sunday, but at least we'll be seeing some drying conditions as that cold air wraps in behind the system that brings us this rainfall out on the West Coast right now. Going toward the middle part of the first full week of January, technically the second week of January, the computer models again showing upper 30s to lower 40s, that's what we're putting into the forecast here. A few models are showing a little bit higher than this in the mid-40s, staying in that area for right now. Several models are looking at the possibility of a big downturn in the temperatures going from Tuesday into Wednesday of next week, and a couple of them are calling for high temperatures in the lower 30s by the time we hit next week Wednesday. Not this Wednesday, not New Year's Day, but the week after that. Could be some very powerful punches of cold air coming into the direction of the Mid-South area. So again, that's what we're going to be watching uh, very carefully out there. So again, uh, Phyllis Walton, wear your coats for New Year's Eve. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's going to be kind of chilly out there, but keep those coats handy uh, into and around the later portions of January because, again, we could be looking at some much colder weather heading on through the area. So stick around for more with News Channel 3 weather experts, and we'll keep you updated on that. Charlotte Pryor, thank you very much uh, for the very kind words. Appreciate that. Raining in McNary County, Dawn Marie Harris, thank you very much uh, for that weather report on my Facebook page. Uh, Dallas Wayne, building the boat yet? Uh, I don't have the skills to do so. My dad 
was the architect and he had the building skills and I don't know of any place around that's selling gopher wood so thank you very much uh, for that suggestion on there and thanks to everybody else who's joining us for this evening do appreciate everybody checking in uh, for weather overtime in and around the Mid-South area. Closing out the year again we should be seeing some decently quiet conditions the threat for severe weather is basically over with as we go into later on tonight and no other severe weather seen into the beginning of the year as we approach the main number one storm system in January through about April so it's time to get ready for that. New Year's Eve not looking too bad again brisk during the day high temperatures back in the upper 40s to lower 50s and then dropping past sunset through the lower 40s about the time we hit New Year's Eve on Beale Street or wherever you are in the Mid-South area, temperatures will be in the mid to lower 30s and heading for the lower 30s as we go toward Dawn Patrol, heading out for breakfast New Year's Day. Temperatures quite chilly back in the lower 30s and clouds will be on the increase. That'll be in advance of our next storm system coming on through. But looking okay overall. Chilly, yes, but at least we're not seeing any snow and ice. We're not seeing any severe weather, not seeing bone-chilling cold out there. So it's going to be winter-ish, but not really seeing all that much in the way of any major problems as we close out one year and head into the next. Of course, we will be seeing again the possibility of some uh, more areas of chilly conditions out there into the next several days. So Steve Montgomery... Uh, that's up to you, bringing your pets in, uh, whenever you want to do that specifically, but all pet owners should be aware that you need to have adequate shelter, clean food and water, and if you don't have that, uh, that again could be uh, interpreted as animal neglect, which is a misdemeanor crime in all 50 states and rapidly heading toward felony status in many locations. So again, if you have pets outdoors, they got to be cared for, especially when the temperatures start dropping out there. Animal neglect, nothing to be messing around with. So let's make certain our furry animal friends are taken care of out there as well. Lori Robinson, Brownsville, Tennessee, from Christmas night. Beautiful sunset out there as the clouds broke up by just a little bit. Thank you very much for that one. James R. Gulledge, nice view of some sunsets into and around areas of Humboldt, Tennessee, on Christmas Eve. Appreciate that with a temperature near 70 degrees last Tuesday. From B. Nassau, beautiful view from near Rosemark, Tennessee on Christmas night. Again, some gorgeous conditions out there with those sunsets going on. And Sherry B. Ware from into and around the area of Salisbury, Tennessee, a nice view of Christmas night again with those beautiful sunsets uh, into and around the area for the Mid-South. Got weather pictures so we can feature them on social media and on News Channel 3 newscasts when we have time. You can definitely drop them off at my social media websites, or if you want to be old-fashioned about it, drop them to my email at austin.onic at wreg.com. And would love to see your pictures out there, some spectacular looks at weather in the Mid-South out there. Thanks again to everybody for sending in your pictures this year. Really do appreciate that. Maybe we'll see if we can get like a new web section to feature everybody's pictures out there during uh, the month of whatever you feature it in. And when you send them in, maybe we can even have like a voting system to see who likes the best pictures out there. So we'll see what we can do about that coming up. All right, one more check of the forecast into tomorrow morning. Numbers back in the high 30s to lower 40s. Clearing skies. Winds will be a little breezy. Temperatures will be a bit brisk with numbers back again in the upper 30s to lower 40s. So not quite as chilly as it could be for this time of the year. But also seeing again the possibility of some pretty cool numbers across much of the area into the early part of the penultimate day of 2019. I, my goddaughter Bethany Bircher, two inches of rain in Topeka yesterday. The dog hated it. I'll just bet PJ was not happy about that being a corgi and built so low to the ground. So uh, might need some corgi booties out there for him. Thank you to uh, Bethany, my goddaughter, checking in on my Facebook page. Appreciate that and everybody else for checking in for tonight out there. Rest of the forecast, if you want to check out more about what's going on, again, Climate Prediction Center for extended forecast information, how you can participate in the uh, observer program for NOAA called Coco Ross, if you'd like to know more about that, and our brand new blog about what it's like to do tornado warnings from this side of the camera. It's called Tornado Alert, Emotional Terror. All that available at WREG.com slash weather if you'd like to check out the forecast page from the News Channel 3 weather experts to keep you up to date as to what's going on out there. We'll be on a little late tonight. Again, thanks to the NFL, we ran over a little bit for this evening. So we'll be on the air at about... 
10.30 or so tonight with the News Channel 3 late edition of News Channel 3 at 10. And, of course, Todd Demers will have more on his forecast coming up bright and early into tomorrow morning. A lot of chilly weather, but not much winter weather anytime soon. And that colder weather that's farther off, keep it tuned to News Channel 3, again, on our social media pages or on air, and we'll keep you updated on that as we go throughout the next several days. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Again, join us on the late edition of News Channel 3 at 10. And Todd Demers has your forecast on Daybreak Monday that starts at 4.30 a.m. Thanks for joining us tonight. Stay safe on those wet roadways out there. And keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for the latest in weather, news, and sports across the Mid-South. Have a great evening.